Hi YouTube family, my name is Vicky and in today's video we are going to learn how to delete a snapshot based on a name. So if we have a tag value set something like backup or dev environment or something like that, it, what the lambda function is going to do is it is going to delete that thing. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm into the AWS console. So the first thing which I need to do is I need to create a couple of snapshot. And the second thing which I need to do is I need to create a lambda function. So let's go into EC2 and create some of the snapshot. As of now, I only have one of the snapshot and let me go to the volume and create a couple of more snapshots. So for this, I'm creating a volume like the volume size is, uh, size is very less. The reason why I'm taking very less size because so that we can create the snapshot quickly. And let me create this thing. Let me have one more. It's only going to be a 4 GB. Create. Now let me create a snapshot one by one. So action. Create snapshot. And the name which I'm going to give it for the demo purpose. Let me click on this. Let me click create snapshot again for demo purpose only. So there is one more action create snapshot again. This is going to be for the demo purpose. Now let me go to the snapshot. So here we have the snapshot. So these are the snapshot which are completed. Okay, let me refresh this thing. So I have four snapshot right now and there is no name set. So let me set some tag value here because the lambda function which I'm going to create that is going to work on the tag value. So here, let me add a name is equal to, let me say it's a backup one. For this tag, we can also update the tag from here. It's one of the same thing like this is going to be for the production this is going to be for the dev environment and this is going to be for the test environment now if i'm going to click on this tag so see we have the name tag set now i have four snapshots with me so what i need to do is i need to delete a particular snapshot or not exactly a particular snapshot what i need to do is i have a name set or I have a tag set something like this like tag is going to be project is going to be cookie what I need is whatever the snapshot I have for the project cookie it is going to search for that and delete all those snapshots okay so that is what my requirement is now for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a lambda function now let me go to the lambda we are going to create a function and here I will go with the default option like author from the scratch and here I'm going to give the name something like like delete snap and in the runtime I'm going to select the python let me click on create function it is not going to take much time okay so we have the lambda function created with the name of whatever the name we provided describe uh, sorry delete snap and here we have the window or the snippet where we are going to write our code what exactly we need to do we need to search for the snapshot and then we need to delete the snapshot so we actually need two things so two things here which we need the first thing we need to find out all the snapshot and then we need to delete the snapshot now how to find the snapshot for that we need to go to the boto 3 and snapshot is a part of our ec2 so i need to look for the ec2 only in the available services so here we have the available services and here i'm going to search for the ec2 here it is now let me look for the snapshot so here we have a copy snapshot which we don't need create we don't need delete yes this is something we need delete snapshot so let me open it and before deleting we need to search how many snapshots we have so for that we need the describe snapshot option so let me click on this thing as well 
now this is for the describe snapshot and this is for the delete snapshot so i'm going to use these two in my lambda function or these two attributes in my lambda function okay now the first thing which i need to do is that is i need to import boto3 now why boto3 because i'm going to use the boto3 okay so boto3 we don't need to install the boto3 here as we are using the lambda environment from the aws and we already have the boto install okay now the next thing which i need to do is i need to write a function and what function lambda handler now from where this name is coming see this is a customized name we can give any name here like i can give delete lambda or something whatever i want i can give it here but for this what i'm doing is i'm just going with the default name so if you are customizing your name here for your function what you need to do is you need to click on edit and you need to update this setting as well now if you see this setting is a combination of two things so here we have the file name lambda function so if you see it's exactly the same thing so let's suppose if you are creating a new file here and you are giving a customized name you need to update this setting as well lambda handler let me go here we need two things first is the event and the other one is the context the first thing which we need is we need to create a client so that we can connect to the boto3 environment and how we can do that so for here let me click on ec2 see here we have the client if, and if i am going to scroll down this is the thing import boto3 we have already mentioned now we are going to mention this thing so this is something if we are using any other service from the aws we need to update that service name here let's suppose i am using iam so i need to update this thing with the iam don't worry i am going to create more videos on that and you will understand now the next value is the event and the event which we need to give we need to give the event which is going to trigger the lambda function now let's see for the describe snapshot and in the describe snapshot what all information we need so this is the requested syntax which we are going to use and if you see we have the parameter we have the response this is the response and then we have the filter value filter value is nothing but a map map of name name is equal to string and the value so here we are going to provide name so filter here we have the name and the backup is the value okay let me go back to my function let me copy this one response let me now again if you are giving any customized name for this one like ec2 some something like that then you need to update this value as well this is nothing but a variable okay which is going to store the value of this thing so here i am using the client so that is the reason i am giving the client but if you want you can update this information as well like in my case let's suppose ec2 so i am going to do ec2 describe this thing snapshot now the next thing is the filter option we need to use the filter so let me go with the filter filter like this and then we have a map and in the map what value we have name okay let me copy this one name is equal to string so name what exactly the string for me it is going to be tag and whatever i have the value here in the tag so it might be the name it might be the project whatever it is okay we need to provide that thing so i'm going to go with the name so name is equal to tag name again this name is coming from this key if you want to mention the project you can mention the project okay so here you can mention the project now the next thing next thing is the value again um, so let me copy this thing like this give a space and the value and value is going to be for me let me go back it's a string now the value value here i can give something like um, backup or something whatever the value i want to give okay 
so i can give something like that but rather than giving the backup here this thing is a trigger for me so i need to create this one as a event so i'm going to create a event here so tag underscore value is the variable name then the event and in the event name what i need to mention i need to mention the tag value and this tag value i can update where i can update it here okay so i'm doing okay what exactly i'm doing i'm creating a variable and this variable value i'm passing it here rather than providing a hard coded value i'm using a variable simple here okay and why i'm doing that thing because in the example when i'm going to run this thing i need to provide the tag value so whatever the tag value i'm going to provide it is going to delete that snapshot for me so let's suppose in the first i need to provide the backup it is going to delete the backup in the second i need to provide the dev so it is going to delete the dev so this is not the hard coded value now this is a i would automatic value or a value which we can provide at the run time so tag value event and here i am providing this value let me close all the braces whatever the things are open so this is the first one this is the second one let me see yes it seems to be close everything and for the tag value we have close okay now let me go back here describe snapshot okay this is the one and let me scroll down a bit we have the examples as well if we are lucky we will get the example yes we have the example as well okay so okay but this example is not going to help me because here we are providing the snapshot id but in our case we are using the filter so that that's okay let me go now what exactly it need to get it need to get the snapshots till this point what exactly it is going to do is it, it is going to filter the value and get me the snapshot so if you want to print this thing you can print response here and you will get the value whatever the value you are going to provide it in the event you will get that snapshot here okay but i don't need to do that now what i need to do is i need to find this filter value and after that i need to delete that thing so for that i need to go to the delete snapshot now here we have the requested syntax and here we have the example as well now let me go back to my function what i need to do is for i'm going to use a for here for x in this thing in this pons okay so whatever the value it will get here okay for x in so this is again a customized name you can give any name here in this pons now what i need to do is ec2 dot delete snapshot now from where the ec2 is coming from this thing so whatever the custom name you have provided you can provide it here as well so ec2 in my case it is ec2 ec2 delete snapshot and then we have also used the filter so we also need to provide the filter information so the first thing which we have used is the snapshot uh, let me take it from here uh, snapshot id let me replace this thing snapshot id is equal to snapshot and then the snapshot id okay this is coming from this okay now let's understand this thing one more time so for x again x is a customized name so we can provide any name in this response here so here what exactly we are doing we are describing the snapshot and we are returning all those snapshot with the help of the tag value so whatever the tag value i am going to provide then whatever the value i will get in x what exactly it is going to do is it is going to delete that thing okay so snapshot id snapshot snapshot okay so we are done let me see if we have closed all the braces yes we have closed all the bracket now here 
what I can do is I can also provide some kind of validation here which is something important otherwise we are keep on running our lambda function we will not get any validation whether it is successful or not so return okay now here I can go with the status code or see I, I can do one more thing rather than giving all those parameter here let me click on deploy or let me save this thing so this is something which we need to write again and again so let me go to the previous demo and see here we have the status let, let me copy this thing simple it's a generic one which you can you know use in a number of so okay I have copied it all let me correct this thing return so let me delete this thing okay we are done so return is going to be the validation here so let me update this thing and in the body I can mention something like um, snapshot deleted successfully something like this okay so that I will get the validation as well okay great now my lambda function is ready let me save this thing let me go to the test environment here it's a event name so I can give any event name here but this is in the JSON format so whatever the value I'm going to provide I need to provide it in the JSON format only now what value I need to provide I need to provide the trigger name here or the event name here so for me in this case the trigger is tag value let me copy this tag value go to the test snap delete something okay let me go with the snap and let me delete this thing let me provide the value here tag value and here we need to provide the value now whatever the value I'm going to provide it is going to delete that snapshot so let me go with the backup one first or let me go with the test one first okay let me save this thing okay there is an error why oh yeah there is a comma okay now we are going to deploy it so again before click on deploy let's understand our function one more time we have the import border 3 then from here we are creating our function in the function we are giving the event as the tag value and this tag value is going to replace this value here in the filter and then whatever the value I will get here it is going to delete that thing let me test it deploy and let me go to the test let's see so we are getting the status code 200 and let me yes we have the snapshot deleted so our function is working as expected now you can provide any value here in the event and it is going to work Thank you.